Supernova is so ready to prove that he up. You got only one life to live, so be happy and be free. You don't owe it to nobody to do go do. Mama hey. shows up at tequila, don't do go do. Put your hands up in the air if you don't go do. Baby, rock me steady, rock me slow. Good evening, guys. We are reporting from the City Edge TV. Yes, I have with me His Royal Majesty Oba Oluwaru Timi Oluwemi Fagberu Lajulo the second, the Olokiodo of Okiodo. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Sir. How are you doing today, sir? I'm fine. Okay, sir. Shall we from the City Edge TV as announced earlier? So we came here to ask you some few questions. So you could enlighten us and enlighten the public also, sir. Mm. So, sir, the first question we would like to ask you, sir, is what is the meaning of Okiodon? Well, <laughs> Okiodon, that is the top of a uh, savannah land, so to say. Our forefathers came here uh, some 225 years ago. That was about uh, 1790. Initially, they settled in a place that is not far from here. To a large extent, there were war refugees as a result of a delay war, delay the war of Lagos, and the combined forces of the bar army attacked smaller settlements not far from here, Irinja, Orile, Idobi, Orile, and such similar settlements. So when they arrived here, it was not here the first settlement. The first settlement in some other places near this present site. So later they discovered this place as a, a hilly place, so to say, on top of or close to Savannah, that is Oki or Don. All right, thank you very much, sir. That is how we got the name Oki or Don. All right, sir. thank you very much, sir, for the answer, sir. So, sir, I would also like to ask you this question, sir. Since the establishment of this town, Oki or Don, what have been the challenges? We're facing in this town. Well, challenges we was established of our foundation was at the time of war. So the war in general affected a lot of things, the economy, the politics of other Yoruba settlements. So similarly, the challenges that affected other places also affected us. But by and large, we are overcoming. Shortly after our establishment, the Hobians raided. The people in the present day Republic of Benin raided this area. First, they came about 1848, and later they came again. About 1884. It's all a period of war. So we are attacked left, right, center by the people. Today we have overcome all these basic challenges and we have, so to say, settled down peacefully in Okiodo. The initial settlers were in four quarters in Lobby. The people that came from Ilobi or Irinja quarters, the people that came from Irinja quarters, or Irinja or and some other settlements, Ilaro quarters, people that come from various places of Yoruba land, and of course, a your quarters, those are the four major quarters of Okyoba, the people that came from Oyo Aziz, so to say. So today, it's made up of four quarters. All right, thank you very much, sir. 
So say, out of these four quarters, which quarters came in first? If you go to ten, of course, if you go to a lobby, we will tell you that they came in first. If you go to a ranger, they will tell you that they came in first. But the strong indications are that the ranger and the local quarters came early and joined by people from other quarters. The Lumi Ranger people. That's what you will read. But of course, as I said, if you go to the people of Villa Reporters, they will tell you that it doesn't matter to us really. Because the unity in diversity is still there. Thank you very much, sir, for that beautiful answer, sir. But sir, also I would like to ask you this beautiful question, sir. And that is, how do you associate with other prominent others in Nigeria? How do you associate with them? Well, when they have programs and I'm invited, I go to their palaces, I go to their coronation ceremonies. Uh, that's about the only form of inter interaction. Of course, when our profession is very similar, I'm a medical doctor. And naturally, when I'm invited by medical doctor Oberts, I go to their programs. So that's the essential form of interaction. Or even when we meet in palaces of other Oberts, we interact happily together. Thank you very much, sir. Or when they have cause to come. For instance, sometimes the Allah has cause to come to Ilaro, we react, we, we interact together. I, himself and myself, we have met in some other places too. Of course, the Alaki of Ebaland, we have, we are, I'm a member of the State Council of Obas. I'm a permanent member. So, when we have meeting at Abelkuta, the capital of the state, we interact. So that's a form of interaction that we have. Thank you very much, sir. The world is evolving and we realize we the youth we learning new way of lifestyle. So I would want to hear your advice and also the public to hear your advice for this community and the youth generally concerning how things are being done recently and how the world is evolving, sir. Well, the youth are a very important segment of the society. I want them to shun courtesy. I want them to shun drug addiction, especially the hard drugs. I want them to face their studies very squarely because they are the future of the nation. And I want them, I want to urge them to live in peace with one another. The future belongs to not to us. Thank you so much, sir. I'm really pleased to meet you, sir. Thank you. All right. Once mm -hmm. again, sir, before mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. round up, sir, I would like you to tell us how long have you been on the throne, sir? I've been on the throne for 16 years. I came and got on the 18th of June, 2005. So I've just celebrated my 16th year on the trip. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Also, sir, I would like to know, sir, before you come into uh, the, uh, before you come on the trip, sir, how many kings have been your predecessor, sir? Well, like I said, we are over 200 years old. Between 1800 and 1900, we had the period of Ilirinja Fukyome. There was Ilirinja Adeyemi, there was Ilirinja Lajulo, my great great grandfather, and there was the reign of Akiyosi, the Ilirinja between 18, 1900 and 1936. 
Thereafter, the nomenclature changed to Ulukiodo of Ulukiodo. And ever since the reign of the Ulukiodo of Ulukiodo and before, there was the uh, Arola Badi of Arola Badi of Ilaro Potters, who came from Ilaro Potters. There was Atiba Joye who came as the second Ulukiodo. Arola Badi came about 1937, 1937 to 40. Atiba Joye came around 1952 to become the Olokyodon, the second Olokyodon. The third Olokyodon was Ubidon from Ilubi quarters of Olokyodon. And I'm the fourth from the last quarter, that is Irindia quarters. I'm representing Irindia quarters on the throne. So there have been at least three or four Irindias at least four Ulukyodon titles as covers in Ulukyodon. Thank you very much sir, for your time. We really appreciate so much and we still hope to know more about Ulukyodon. So thank you very much sir, for the answer. This question I want to ask my view is very personal sir. So sir, how have you been able to manage or balance the relationship between your friends before being enthroned on the truth and after being enthroned? Well, there's nothing to balance. My friends remain my friends. We still come together, socialize with one another, and all that. My friends didn't uh, run away from me when I became the lover. So we still, we're still good friends, we live with each other happily socialize with each other and, and enjoy each other's company. Initially, when I became the over, many of them ran away. But later, they came back and uh, we've been enjoying each other's company ever since. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. So, sir, um, as we all know, you're a medical doctor, sir. I am. In the case whereby you have been needed in the hospital, no, I still have my own practice. I still have my practice. I still have my private practice. Although it's not anything as big as it used to be. Even before I became the Oba, I had my own private practice in the Kuta. But ever since I've shifted my practice down to Kyoto. And that's in an attempt to help the people. I can, I can understand, I can see that a lot of people go into wrong hands in terms of medical treatment. And ever since I brought in my own practice, people have been coming to me for one form of medical treatment or the other. And uh, I'm happy with myself that my practice has returned. Although the low key version it is a low key version of my older practice. I've been enjoying it. People have been enjoying it. These days you hardly can find any other who is not involved in his own uh, trade. Right? One of the days when you sit down in the balance and expect people to bring this and bring that to you. So it's been quite Lovely. It's been quite lovely to combine just a little bit of medical practice with kingship. Thank you very much, sir. And it's nice once again having you. Yeah. Also, sir, I would want you to give us advice, your advice for the state and to the country at large. For the state, we thank our governor, His Excellency, for all his efforts turning around the educational status or educational developmental projects that he has in mind for the state. 
they should endeavor to continue in that land. Today you will see nuclear stones being refurbished, being rebuilt, being rehabilitated all over the state. All these efforts we commend and we want to urge him to continue in that direction. For the federal government, we want to salute the efforts of President Bukhari in combating Kubo, the Boko Haram insurgency. It should continue in that direction until the war is eventually won. Uh, we want to urge the federal government not to rest on its spurs in terms of economic development of the nation as a whole. And I wish everyone peace in this country. Thank you very much. Sir. Dear viewers, I still have with us His Royal Majesty of Uluwaru Timi, Uluwemi Fagi Ulu Ladi Lodo Second, the Olukiodo of Okiodo, Kadi Kupalu. Thank you. Thank you very much.